Hello friends, welcome to our website automationcommunity.com. In the last video, we have seen the ladder programming for automatic door open. Today, we are going to see its HMI designing. So, let us start our Dopsoft HMI software. Now, click on the new file. And for this project, let us select the maximum screen resolution. Let us select this. And we will write name of our project on the next button here in the for communication you have to select your plc simulator or your plc driver created in comgr click on the finish button so such screen will open so this is our workspace so let us create some basic shapes for door so I am selecting rectangular over here and let us draw like this and give it brown color from here foreground color. Click OK. Again click OK. So again select a rectangular from here. This time we will draw box like this. Again, give it a brown color from foreground color. And let us copy paste this. So, this is the frame of our door. Now, we need three sensors one sensor, PIR sensor over here, and three sensors for door opening and door closing. So, how we are going to do that? So, let us select maintain buttons for all sensors just make it in center double click over it double click over it let us change its color and give its text and here we will write sensor on the both cases let us make it bold and here also we have to change the color for own condition also let us increase its size for both the cases and click ok but before that we have to give its address so this is our x0 sensor Similarly, we will create another inputs like door opening sensor and door closing sensor. So again, we will select maintain button and uh, here will be our door opening position. So this is our X1 sensor. So first of all, I will write its address. Now let us change its color and uh, we will write the text. So here we will write. sensor just make it bold and increase its size okay so what we will do for opening sensor off we will give red color and for on condition we will give green color so we can know that sensor is off or on so same text we will give it to on condition here also let us make it bold and increase its size and click ok so when the sensor will on it will appear like this and if it off it will appear like this so similarly just copy paste this for another opening sensor and closing sensor so let us say our Closing position will be here. Double click over it to modify this. So, this address we need to change and text also. Here it will be closing because this is the closing sensor. The same we have to copy paste in on condition. 
and this is okay but we need to change its address this is our x3 sensor click ok now let us come to the main part that is the animation part so for giving animations we have to use animated graphic over here so now we will draw one box like this double click over it we need to give some image to it so go to pictures and uh, i am going to use pipes library i am looking for a vertical image like this so it here it is just click ok and here i will do stretch all so it will look like this now i will give its address so for animations we are using internal memory so let us give this internal memory 4 because one i am going to use for another one so just click enter and click ok so just copy paste this and this side door here i am going to give you address 1 so here what i will do i will write internal memory 1 so why i have kept the difference of 3 because here if i give address 1 to this door then what will happen internal memory 2 will store the x coordinate of this object and internal memory 3 will store y coordinate of this object similarly here if i give internal memory 4 address to this object internal memory 5 will be the x coordinate of this object and internal memory 6 will be the y coordinate of this object so for animations we are going to change these coordinates so simply by changing the value of internal memory 2 i can move these objects so i have created the objects now for animations i have to write some macro code so first of all let us know what is the initial position of this object so this is 349 so let us round figure it to 350 and here 70 so easy to remember okay similarly here here also let us make it round figure like 530 and 70 over here this is our closing position 350 and 70 530 and 70 so first of all we will write screen open macro so here what i will write that internal memory 2 will be 350 whenever i open my hmi screen so this is the x coordinate of first object and internal memory 3 will be 70 this is the y coordinate of first object similarly internal memory 5 will be 530 that is the x coordinate of second object and internal memory 6 will be 70 that is the y coordinate of second object so whenever we open our hmi screen these objects will come to this position only okay so close this and update yes so it is saved now we will write screen cycle macro so in this what we are going to do if my y1 output is on this door should open so we have to give animation like door is opening so first of all i need to check whether y1 is on or not so for that click over here macro wizard and command here comparison then go to if and from here select this option if equal equals to on and in the variable we will select y1 for on condition y14 door opening condition and click over update macros and close this box so you will see one instruction is written over here so this is simple if instruction if y1 is on then what we have to do here this is the first object its x coordinate we have to decrease so it will move towards the left right internal memory 2 equals to internal memory 2 minus let us say 10 so what is the significance of this value larger will be this value 
faster will be the animation because faster you decrease the coordinates this will move faster and if i uh, reduce this value like 5 then it will be slower animation okay similarly for this object we have to increase the y coordinate so it will move towards the right side sorry its x coordinate we have to increase so its x coordinate is stored in internal memory 5 so we have to increase this internal memory 5 by 10 so what it will do this will move left side and it will move right side and here we will end this loop similarly if y0 is on okay then what should happen it will be it should move right side and it should move left side so we are going to do reverse of this just copy paste this now this time we have to increase the value of internal memory 2 and here we have to decrease the internal memory 5. So this is the simple macro code for the animation of door. Just close and click on update yes. So here our HMI designing is completed. Quickly let us do its simulation. So before that we have to open our ladder programming ISP soft software where we will compile it from here and download it from here. Okay, so before that we have to start our COMGR. So from here we will start our COMGR and select our simulator. And from here we will start this. Now we can download our code to our simulator. And it is completed. So just close this. Now we will click on online button from here. And while doing the simulation, don't forget to turn on this bit and then click on run button. Confirm yes. So here you can see status of the simulator. Now again open your Dopsoft HMI. From here we have to click offline simulation. So before that, here Initially, you can see this is door closing position. So, the closing sensor should be on. So, right click over here and select set on. So, right now, you can see closing sensor is sensed, but it is not showing here. So, let us see what's the problem. So, let's close this. And from the options in the communication settings, Okay, so here we have to select our simulator so now it should work again let us click on offline simulation so you can see here my sensor is on and here it is indicating don't confuse because this is the nc if the sensor is on then its nc doesn't have power okay so now it is online so let us come to the first network if this sensor senses the human detection then x0 will turn on and that will turn on our output y1 so as soon as i will click over here you can see uh, y1 is energized so at this time door should move okay so you can see it is moving but okay so let us see Where's the there should be some first of all let us stop this so we have to check our macro code so here you can see in the both the cases i have kept the y1 actually i have to change here y0 so due to this code was not running properly now it will run properly okay so again uh, let us start this click on the offline simulation just again because the door are closed right now so closing sensor will be on now as soon as the x0 sensor will turn on that is pir sensor 
Y0 is turn on. Now it will off and this opening sensors will turn on. So you can see doors are open, but sensor is still on. So now here comes the second network that you can see over here. As soon as the sensor is off, timer will start. And after the timing is completed, Y0 will be start. So doors will close. So this sensors will be closed and this sensor will be turned on when doors are closed. Okay. So let me again show you as soon as this sensor detects human presence, doors open Y1 is on and as soon as it reaches here, and opening sensor becomes turn on okay because door is right now here as soon as the sensor become off why after five seconds y0 will be on that you can see from here so doors will open so this sensors will turn off and this sensor will turn on and when this turn on y0 is stopped so so friends this was our example of automatic door if you want to learn more examples like this Show your interest by liking and subscribing our YouTube channel. Meet you in the next video.